at the stadium, the Mountaineer told 60,000 fans how Muscat saved the day. As they stood and cheered, Muscat thought, this is the best place on earth. The Mountaineer handed Muscat a present. It was his very own coonskin cap. Muscat jumped around with joy. What started as a curious adventure led Muscat to his new home in the Golden Blue Mountains. And that is how our favorite furry friend Muscat found his new home at West Virginia University. Tell us another story, President Key. Mm, okay, I, I will. Um, here's one. Muscat loved his new cap so much that he wore it with great pride wherever he went. Not only did it keep his head warm, but it made him feel warm inside because when his friend the Mountaineer gave him that cap, he became a part of a real family, the Mountaineer family. On one blustery winter day in Morgantown, Musket was roaming through the core arboretum looking for other critters to play with when a gust of cold wind whipped around and blew his hat off. Musket's heart sank as he watched his most beloved possession, a gift from the Mountaineer himself fade away into the snowy air. Determined to find his cap, Musket leaped into the air and started running. His hat drifted into the sim. It floated past the Creative Arts Center and all the way over to the Health Sciences campus. The hat vanished from Musket's side. He became filled with sorrow and he slumped with sadness. But then he remembered how much the hat made him feel like a mountaineer. He needed it back to be part of the family again. He could not quit now. Just then, out of the corner of his eye, Muscat spotted the furry cat flying through the air. He chased it to the PRT station, which led him to the downtown campus. That's when people gathered outside Woodburn Circle wondering why the bell had not rung all day. Muscat saw the hat teetering up the bell tower. So the tenacious pooch dashed into Woodburn Hall and up the stairs to retrieve his prized possession. He whizzed toward the coonskin cap, knocking his noggin on the frozen bell. Musket did it. He got his cap back. Musket felt good to be part of the family again. But what Musket did not realize is that it wasn't the hat that made him a mountaineer. It was the courage and determination he showed in never, ever giving up. That is what made him a true mountaineer, and that mountaineer spirit lives in all of us today. Happy holidays from your mountaineer family. Listen, Keith, who says another story? We're going to be here until the end of December.